Good morning, guys. It is currently 6.54. Trying to get out of here by 7. We're driving. We're on the road again. Are we still in New Mexico, babe? Barely. Barely in New Mexico? Barely in New Mexico. So we're in New Mexico and are headed to um, the Northwest. In one of our last videos, like two videos ago, we told you guys that we were headed to Portland. Um, we are eventually headed to Portland, but something came up in Seattle that's taking us there. So we're going to Seattle for probably a week or two weeks. We're gonna try to get there probably by tomorrow, but today is a driving day. On Monday, a judge in Puerto Rico ruled. This is on the media. I'm Bob Garcia. And I'm Brooke Gladstone. Yay! Christian's up! Now I can talk to the camera while I drive. Continue on West Main Street for 27 miles. 27 miles? We're not getting on a highway? Bye, New Mexico! Bye, New Mexico! Hello, Colorado! Morning, my baby. How are you doing? Um, I didn't, I mean, I'm doing good. I got good sleep, but not that long of sleep. Yeah. So I had you, to wake up early to fix the plumbing. When did you go to sleep last night? Like 12.30, but it was like 1.30 for me. Oh. Whatever. You should tell them what you're up to. Okay. Well guys, I'm back on that grind. I'm back to doing a, like a nine to five sales job remotely over the summer. When we're traveling and I have calls all day, it's really difficult. I'm ready to get to one place so I can actually plan myself to work because I love just getting down in business with a job like that and call, call, call and talking to tons of people and really just getting like eight hours of really intense, really good work done and then it's done, you know, like wrapping it up. But when you're in a car like this, it's just like you're struggling through eight hours just to make the calls and just to make them a good reception. No fun at all. What was that face for? I was thinking about how this guy's driving a little slow. See that cowboy hat in the truck? He's a good old slow cowboy. How far do you think we can get today? We have 18 hours and 46 minutes left. That's it? Yeah. When did you get started? Like 7.30. Should we try to drive straight through is the question. This is what always happens. We get within like 10 hours of a place. And Christian just gets can taste it. Right. Taste the victory. Right. And it's like midnight. <laughs> and right. Christian's like, nah, we're gonna drive straight through. Right. Aubrey, you're getting up at four o'clock in the morning. I'm driving at four o'clock in the morning. Right. And we're gonna do it. So, yeah, probably. But let's not make that decision until we have to. What podcast do you listen to, by the way? No such thing as fish. Your favorite. Not favorite. All right, well, I guess we're gonna blast some podcasts. And I'm gonna get ready for my day of work. Actually, first, can you make me some breakfast? I'll make you some, some goofball food, dude. Thanks, goofball. All right, I'll show off our, our classic on the road breakfast. We've got a couple of coconut milk yogurts. We have granola. Yep. And then we've got, we've got our kind granola. Also, this always cracks me up when we get into high elevation. Look what happens to our chip bags. It's like balloons, dude. All right, let's take this lady breakfast. Whoa. Tell me when you're turning. Whoa! Sorry. Oh my god, Aubrey! Sorry. You spilled it! <sighs> Sorry. I told you to tell me when you're turning. Check this landscape out, guys. That rock is wild. We're in Utah now. Wish you had more time to spend here. No. Oh my goodness. Well, let's try to make a stop in Moab at least. Well, here's what I'm thinking for the call today. While he's on the call, I'm just gonna whip up some lunch. My baby had a great call. I did. Nicely done. Thank you. Ready for some lunch? I am ready. For, my eyes are burning, dude. Are you? From I'm the onion. hugging you, man. <laughs> You've been traveling too much. I haven't gotten to hug you enough. I know. My eyes are burning. I know. It's because uh, of the onion that uh, I just cut. <laughs> today we are cooking up some veggies. I just had some Brussels sprouts that needed to be eaten. Broccoli onion, and then field roast. That's our lunch today. Uh, we don't usually cook on the road, but we had to stop for Christian's call. Um, and so Might I just well decided- a, a smash and lunch while we're at it. Might as well make a smash and lunch. Also, I forgot to pick up bread or tortillas to make what we like to call quick lunches. <laughs> Christian was pretty salty about about that yesterday. You just keep calling me salty no matter what I do. 
You were kind of salty about that yesterday. I'm not talking about you right now. <laughs> Anyways, so we kind of have to cook things. My baby Kate, he can drop a beat. He can drop a beat so fly like Kanye. Yeah. What? That didn't rhyme at all. <laughs> In my head it was gonna rhyme. Kanye doesn't rhyme with fly. <laughs> How many hours in are we today, babe? Four and a half. That's it? Yeah. We just bumped the new Kanye album again. Thoughts, babe? I love it. You don't love it. Do you love it? I actually really do. Huh. I think it's really, really interesting. I like it when albums have like more layers to them. Right. Like I think that's what I really like. That's right. why I like something like Kishibashi. Where it's right. like a lot of Kishi Bashi is like Aubrey's favorite artist. We should talk I love Kishi. Alright, let's I do it. I haven't listened to Kishi Bashi Let's do it. Ooh, Mr. Steak! <laughs> you have a great day! Please speak in song and history. <laughs> <laughs> you love it? These are Aubrey's moves when she listens to her favorite album of all time. Go girl. Go girl. No! What happened? What next? No! We just ran out of cell service there. That's brutal. Aubrey's pretty into Paul Simon. That's her boy. Oh, me, oh my. I feel like if Aubrey ever got to meet two celebrities, okay, three celebrities, <laughs> I think I know who they would be. Who would they be? They would be Michelle Obama, mm -hmm. Paul Simon, mm -hmm. and Pau Gasol. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Michelle Obama and Pau Gasol are on the same level. And when you have like, you have like Paul <laughs> Michelle Obama <laughs> yeah. does. Oh, he has the biggest celebrity crush on Pau Gasol because he's such a goofy guy. I love him. I followed him on Instagram. He's in Italy right now. He was just waiting for the Spurs. Yes, place. he was. <laughs> so he, got he was missing his wine so badly. When I was like super into the Lakers when I was growing up, and because I, I lived in LA, he was on there on the Lakers. And I was just fascinated with him because he just looked so funny out there. <laughs> you liked him at the time too? Oh yeah, I loved him. He was my favorite player. So you've always slept pal. <laughs> yeah, I have. Like as a 12 year old, I loved pal. And then, <laughs> and then when I moved to San Antonio, I found out he was playing for the Spurs. And I was like, sorry Lakers, <laughs> I'm going to the Spurs. I'm going to pal's team. <laughs> yeah. What's the love of Paul Simon? Where does that come from? <laughs> what's, the, what's the Graceland love? The Graceland love, well here's, here's where it goes back to in my history of my life. When I was growing up, me and my sister shared a room and we loved our jams, but we only had two CDs. Those were... <laughs> <laughs> but you loved your jams. <laughs> the two CDs that we had access to were the soundtrack of That Thing You Do, which is my favorite movie. Oh, such a good movie. I, I, list, I knew the soundtrack by heart before I ever saw the movie. Because I just, boom, that was one of my... Sh boom, sh boom, sh so that's my favorite movie. And my favorite album is this Graceland, which was the other CD. That was the second CD. The other thing is... That my, you loved your jam. I loved my jam. Literally, my sister and I would be like, we need to hang out. So what we would do... <laughs> and mind you, we're like eight at this time, right? What we would do is we'd literally lay on, the, on our beds with our heads hanging upside down <laughs> over the side of our beds and that to us was hanging out because we were hanging. Hey, would you <laughs> hang out like, and listen to your jams? <laughs> oh, of course. Like, all day. Hold on. So let's rank your, your celebrity crushes. Okay. Or no, celebrities you would be. So our yeah. celebrity crushes works too. Yeah. Michelle okay. Obama Honestly, and Pau Gasol. Number one is Pau. Pau is number one. <laughs> so Pau, even above Michelle, anyone. Yeah. Pau is the top dog. Pau. I've been so close. I've lived in the same city as him twice. I know. And we went out to all the cool spots yeah. and we just knew. Where was Pau? I just have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are getting such a window in on why Aubrey's so like, so unique and weird. I love it. How, how do we get here? <laughs> Only dumb questions are being answered today, guys. I'm not 
sick of the questions. I love the questions, but I just get tired of like the over serious questions and the how do you pee and where do you park. I'm just gonna dive into this one. I don't know. I can see that it's a weird and a dank one. I don't know where it's going, so I'm gonna dive in with you guys. <laughs> Matt dot Scott says, if a piece of bread always lands butter side down and a cat always lands on his feet, what happens when you put a piece of bread butter side up on the back of a cat? Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I think we all know the real answer. They separate. Yeah. And the butter falls on the ground and the cat falls on its Exactly. It's the, it's the law, laws of nature. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Hmm. <laughs> no. But here's the thing. I would make sandwiches out of all the hot dog ingredients. Like I would take a, a sausage, a vegan sausage at that, and I would cut it in slices and I'd put it between bread. That would be a sandwich. What do you think? I think it's a sandwich. I don't think it's a sandwich, but I see the I see the argument. Going deeper. Oh, here we go. This is more like it. If Morrison could have one superpower, what would each of you want it to be? Uh-huh. I think my superpower, I mean like honestly, of course I love for Morrison to be able to fly, right? Like yeah, if Morrison could just vibe up right now and take to the skies. Really? How sick would that That'd can you imagine? Amazing. Just like just going oh we just went through Moab. Can you imagine flying over Moab? Someone asked who would win in a bare knuckle boxing match. Amon or Christian? I'll be back. Go watch our arm wrestling video. I think you'll have your answer there. Are we coming up on construction here? Again, yes. Favorite office character and why? Why It's, it's Michael for me, right? Like he's like one of the perfect TV characters. That's boring, but true. The person that I have the softest spot in my heart for, out of all of them, is Oscar. Oscar? He is a sweetheart. I do like Creed too. If I'm not gonna answer <laughs> Michael, I love Creed. Because there's very few people in all of comedy um, <laughs> who have such limited material to work with and who just like knock it out of the park so hard. One of the best moments from The Office was that one, uh, <laughs> that one day they were playing that board game and Creed comes in late or something and Michael is like, you're one of four murder. He's like a sheriff and he oh, does yeah, a yeah. and Creed. <laughs> <laughs> looks around <laughs> and just like ducks out and you see it like shredding <laughs> All right, I've got some some fair ones. I feel like there's Tiffany like Tiff uh, the knee I hope that's not how your name is spelled because I'm like I'm kind of finding it funny But I think it's funny if you painted van flames on the van would it go faster Tiffany asks Oh, yeah, definitely. without a doubt it would give him a superpower actually. Yeah. Would you rather have finger-shaped toes or toe-shaped fingers? Hmm, definitely finger-shaped toes. Yeah, definitely. I feel like if you had finger-shaped toes, you could start climbing on trees and crap. That would be amazing. I'd trade my toes for fingers any day. Support for film spotting and the following message come from Volvo. Remember when you could only listen to programs like this live on the radio? I Someday hate this you'll remember podcast. when people had to buy cars too. I hate it Introducing so the new much. Volvo XC40, why? the car. So I'm gonna go take a nap. To you, Josh. No, I just why you hate it? Out. Good morning, guys. Just kidding, it's not the morning. But I just woke up from like a two hour long nap. I literally hate that podcast that he's listening to so much that I needed to sleep through it. <laughs> I, wasn't even, I wasn't even that tired, but I cannot stand it. <laughs> I don't even know where we are. Christian's just been driving. Um, I swear to see a McDonald's. Yeah, that's McDonald's. I think he might be going to the bathroom at a McDonald's and getting a coffee. Welcome to Idaho. Play some radio lab, I think, so you don't you're not mad at me for playing more podcasts. Ooh, great idea. So as you guys can see, uh, or actually maybe you can't because the lights on, but it is dark outside. Yes, I have my feet on the counter. Yes, I know that's gross. Okay. We are in. I think we're like just outside of Boise, and Christian has decided that we are driving straight through. So he's gonna drive till late. Um. And then he's gonna get me up really early so I can drive the rest of the way. <sighs> I think we're like maybe eight or nine hours out, something like that. I'm actually going to go to sleep. Baby, are you going already? Yeah. Wow, he's so ready to go. Okay. I guess I'm turning these lights off. Hope you guys enjoyed coming with us on a day in the life. Um we enjoyed taking you guys with us. I'm really tired now, all of a sudden. I'm gonna put on my podcast that you hate, but we'll see you guys later. God bless you. Stay doing well. Stay doing well. Bye, guys. Love you. See you in the next video. Bye.